Hey guys, if you follow my channel by now you would have heard of HitFilm. If for some reason you haven't yet, HitFilm is a tool for indie filmmakers that lets you both edit your movies and create some cool visual effects. Now HitFilm does actually come in two distinct flavors. On one side there's the free express version and then there's the paid pro version. Think of HitFilm Express as your level zero weapon. It doesn't cost a cent and it's plenty to get you started on your quest into the exciting world of filmmaking and visual effects. But depending on how far along that quest you want to travel, you may come up against some challenges that simply require a bigger gun. Enter HitFilm Pro. Think of HitFilm Pro as your BFG 9000. Yes, it does cost money, but it also comes with some pretty advanced features and a whole lot more oomph to help you overcome some pretty big challenges on your way to internet stardom. Now, the real question is, how far can you go for free with HitFilm Express? What do you get with the Pro version that you don't get with the Free Express Edition? And which version is right for you? In this video, I want to give you a quick overview and a comparison between HitFilm Express and HitFilm Pro. The whole premise behind HitFilm is to offer a single tool that offers both video editing and visual effects compositing capabilities in a single software package. If you're not quite clear on the distinction, video editing is the process of going through all of your recorded footage, picking out the best pieces and then arranging them, primarily sequentially, to form a coherent story or movie. Visual effects compositing on the other hand usually focuses on a single clip or shot within your movie. The idea is to layer different visual elements on top of each other like your base footage, an explosion, some glow, some debris, some particles, robots, anything really, and then blending all of that together into a single composited shot. Both versions of HitFilm, Express and Pro, let you do both video editing as well as visual effects compositing to create some cool visual effects. However, HitFilm Express is absolutely free, while HitFilm Pro will set you back a once-off price of 299 US dollars. If you're just looking for a great free tool to get you started, I've put a link down in the description to a video that explains how to get and use HitFilm Express to edit your own film projects. That's really all you need to get started, doesn't cost you a thing, and the link for that is down below. As your skills and your requirements increase, however, you may want to get access to some more advanced features, more effects, 3D camera tracking, coloring tools, and a whole bunch of other things that just aren't available in the free Express edition. You've come to a crossroad and you now have two different options. You can upgrade HitFilm Express in bytes by purchasing add-on packs. These add-on packs may include coloring effects, sci-fi effects, destruction elements or advanced modules such as 3D camera tracking or working with 3D objects. Or you can bite the bullet and buy the full enchilada that is HitFilm Pro. One consideration is that if you were to purchase every single add-on pack that is available for HitFilm Express, you'd end up paying $345. This however will still not give you access to all of the tools that are available in the latest version of HitFilm Pro. Just a heads up that the version of HitFilm Pro I have here with me is the latest version which got released just a few weeks ago and I'm going to compare it to HitFilm Express 2017 which may get a refresh in the near-ish future. However, I figured it might still be really useful to see what features aren't available in the Free Express Edition compared to HitFilm Pro. One of the most important features for creating more advanced visual effects that you will not find in HitFilm Express is the 3D model import. HitFilm natively supports various 3D file formats and has a unified working space where you can place both 2D and 3D objects together. While you can still work with 3D layers in HitFilm Express, you will not be able to import any actual 3D models into the Express Edition. And that is not something that you can add via an add-on pack. The next big feature that is only available in the Pro Edition is the Particle Simulator. You can create some pretty awesome effects with the Particle Simulator. Anything from fire, clouds and snow to fairy dust or other energy effects. You can dissolve text and even sync up the movement of your particles to music tracks. But again, this feature is only available in HitFilm Pro and not part of any add-on pack. HitFilm Pro contains various scopes that help you analyze the color information on your footage to make more accurate adjustments when you're color correcting or color grading to get that cinematic look. Tools such as the Vector Scope, the RGB Parade and your Waveform Monitor are not available in the Express Edition and again, cannot be added via an add-on pack. The latest version of HitFilm Pro also includes a new Puppet tool. 
This tool allows you to take a 2D image of a character and generate a puppet mesh for it. You can then place points across this mesh and animate those points to make the puppet move. This is a pretty easy to use tool, though I felt it could use a little bit more refinement and I could not for the life of me figure out how to use that rigidity map to make my water character a little less jelly. At this point, the puppet tool is not available in HitFilm Express. Now, personally, I haven't dealt much with 360 video before, but if that's your ish, then you love the new 360 video viewer in HitFilm Pro. You can play back your videos and your facts and move around freely to check out what the final experience will be like. It's simple, it's useful and not available in the Express Edition. There's also an animation editor available in the latest version of HitFilm Pro. This editor makes it a lot easier to modify and customize your keyframe directly on your editor timeline using either the simple timeline view or the value graph. Currently, this feature is only available in HitFilm Pro and don't take my word for it, but I would be surprised if it didn't make it into the next release of HitFilm Express. There's a ton of other little feature differences between HitFilm Pro and HitFilm Express. Things like support for 8K, the chroma key effect, text geometry effects and other features are currently only available in the Pro version. So, which version is best for you? As I mentioned, if you're just getting into filmmaking and visual effects and you just need a free tool to get you started, go get yourself HitFilm Express. It's absolutely free and has everything you need to edit your movie project add some cool visual effects, add some sound and music and then share it with the rest of the world via the internet. And again, there's a link down below that will show you how to get it and how to use it. If you are enjoying the Express Edition and you just need that specific visual effect for a specific movie project you're working on and it isn't available, maybe see if you can purchase that as a standalone add-on pack. However, the moment you feel like purchasing multiple add-on packs, I would highly recommend you consider whether it wouldn't just be worth upgrading to Hitman Pro instead. Finally, a bit of a shameless plug, but hopefully it'll be useful to you guys as well. If you consider purchasing any products from the HitFilm range, I'm going to put a custom link down into the description of the video that will take you to the HitFilm store. I've been told that in the near future, going through that link will give you a 10% discount on everything in the HitFilm store. Plus you'll be supporting me along the way, which I always really, really, really appreciate. As of right now, that discount is not yet active, but I will keep you up to date, so do make sure you check that link down in the description. And that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share the video around, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you do have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.